All right, today I'm excited to be doing a review on a Velvet Cut uh, Council Tool saddle axe. Um, it's a double bit axe. Uh, had a customer, they uh, requested that we pick this axe up. Um, I'm real glad that they did. Uh, feel free if there's any type of axe that you're looking for, just give us a ring. We'll be glad to source it for you. But, anyways, um, there are not a lot of axes out there available in this size and you know the double bit it's a really good pack axe obviously uh, with its name it's good to go uh, pack on a saddle um, camping hiking anything like that uh, it comes with a full grain leather sheath um, you know like all the premium council tool axis the woodcraft the velvy cuts they're they're um, they're just real nice axes sheaths are made in the USA like the entire axe um, go ahead and pull the blade guard off and um, go and take a look. Uh, the forging is pretty nice. Um, the handles, as far as I have seen, all of the Velvet Cut and the Woodcraft axis from uh, Council Tools, their handle are just, you know, really premium. They've got the, um, the grain lined up real well on them. And uh, we'll go ahead and get some measurements and move on to a closer look. All right, so for an overall length, we have uh, just about, well, about 15 and a quarter inches. Uh, bit to bit uh, width is about seven inches and uh, have a width of right around one inch. All right, as you can see, um, the grain lines up very nicely in the handle, hickory handle. The um, forging marks, uh, the velvet cuts are not hand forged, but they um, are all handmade. They are um, drop forged, but they don't do a lot to clean them up. What you see is what you get. The, um, the metal is a line, it being the velvet cut, uh, protocol to give it the fine edge holding ability and they line the grains up and in my opinion uh, they are uh, really a fine axe. I think it's the 15 or the 6051 steel and you can just see really really fine fit around the head um, just really a well fitting axe. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and give uh, this saddle axe a little bit of a workout. No, I'm not taking down the big tree. Just going to uh, take down this little privet um, and we'll see how she does. Not a big axe. This is probably a good size. Maybe we'll try a little bit of kindling as well after I get it down. Probably the best bet is going to be limbing and what have you, but hey, what else do you need out of a saddle axe?
All right, I've got my little piece of uh, privet here that I just uh, whacked out. We'll go ahead and do a little kindling. As you can see, makes a fantastic little camp axe. Kindling, um, limbing, whatever you want to do. Really nice little axe. Great camp pack, saddle axe. Um, I really like the feel. It's got a good feel. Um, highly recommend it. Okay, so let's give something a little bit bigger a shot. Now, I don't know how this will turn out, but we're gonna see. As you can see, not too shabby. Obviously not a splitting maul, obviously not a filling axe, but you can get it done with this saddle axe. Okay, so, uh, final impressions on the saddle axe. It's a good little axe. Um, as far as packing goes, I'm not gonna say it's the lightest axe. Um, it is, it does have a little bit of heft to it. Um, the, uh, you know, it's a little wide, I like the grind, you know, all the velvety cuts, and, and I'll do another video in the future and we'll kind of go over what makes the velvety cut grind um, and grain alignment, you know, uh, really a proficient tool. But for this video, um, I'll, I'll just say, even though it's not the thinnest axe, the grind really cuts super well. It wants to bite into the wood. Um, I, as you as you could tell, I, I got into some of the items that were a little bit bigger maybe than it was even intend for, intended to do. It handled those, it handled the little limbs. Fantastic, obviously. Um, I like a double bit axe. You know, it's just something about the persona and the feel of it. There's not a lot in the premium, you know, axis kind of in this size and, and feel. I really like it. Um, you know, the only, like I said, the only real downside is that you do get a little bit more weight with it. Um, obviously, some people would have the safety factor of it being a double bit, but that's with any double bit axe. That's just something, you know, that you're going to have to watch out for. Um, I would highly recommend this axe for any kind of little, kin you know, you saw the kindling, um, any type of kindling or, or packing or anything like that. So um, let me go ahead and wrap this up. I want to thank you for watching. You know, feel free if you like this video, subscribe, check out our other videos. Um, if you are looking, like I said, customer uh, actually asked us to pick up this this axe. Uh, if there's any axes that you're looking for, uh, you know, shoot us an email, give us a call. Uh, glad to to talk anything over, and uh, just always excited about anything to do with axes. We thank you for watching. Have a great day.